Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Kayla. Thank you guys so much for coming back to see me. Today's video, we're going to be speaking about the elephant in the room, which is my hair. My bob. Yo, bob is fat. So y'all, this video is going to be a story time on why I had to cut all my hair off, basically. I had to chop my my hair off if you want to see more content from me make sure to like comment subscribe leave any video suggestions down below and let's get straight into it so y'all know that i recently had braids and i love those braids they were so cute so nice love them i took them out brushed my hair out detangled my hair and everything and it was fine i recently went to target and i had bought some new hair products. I bought a shampoo and I bought a new conditioner, a brand I've never used before, but I did look it up while I was at Target. It had like 4.2 stars or something and the ingredients looked like they, were, they would be nice or whatever. So I decided that I would get it instead of getting what I usually use in my hair. So yeah, I decided to try something new and it did not work out for me. I actually had like a nice amount of hair, like my hair was nice. It was pretty healthy. It was a little dry, so I did get a product that was for dry hair because I wanted to bring moisture to my hair. This is the conditioner that I bought. So the brand is Beauty and Planet. It's vegan silk protein and chamomile for dry, stressed hair. It's apparently... 97% natural, 100% biodegradable, it's vegan, and it's supposed to give you soft, silky, smooth hair. And then this is a bag, it has like no parabens, yes, good stuff, no bad stuff, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, okay, this is probably exactly what I need. It's going to be perfect. Boy, I was wrong. So I will be putting videos and pictures in this video just to show you guys what really happened to my hair at the time i was just kind of laughing about it but it is pretty like <laughs> but yeah so this was the product that i bought the shampoo that i used i used before and it was fine but the conditioner is where i went wrong after i took my braids out i could tinkle my hair completely before i got in the shower to wash my hair i did two rounds of shampoo it was fine as soon as i put that conditioner in my hair y'all my hair like matted together it, it like immediately was dry mind you i'm in the shower under the water and my hair was drying up clumping and literally it was stuck together like i was stressed y'all so I got out of the shower and i was like because i was realizing that my hair was getting like tangled and matted and i'm like what the what the heck like i can't brush it out in the shower like so i got out the shower i'm dripping wet and i'm trying to like do something with my hair like trying to detangle it and all my hair is just falling out y'all like literally coming out in clumps it was like crazy so i'll insert a video of my hair um this clip shows the amount of hair that came out in the shower and when i got out the shower and i was trying to detangle my hair so mind you, this is after my hair was already detangled before getting in the shower. So there was no reason for my hair to do this. It wasn't like I just took my braids out and didn't brush it out. Like I brushed my hair out and everything. So it was no reason for it to be like that. So I'm in the bathroom and I'm just like stressing y'all. I'm like, what the heck am I going to do? Like all my hair is coming out. Um, so I'm like, okay, maybe I'll try and blow dry it so that it can... Um, I don't know a miracle will happen like i was thinking a miracle was going to happen so i go to plug in my blow dryer and of course the electricity goes out <laughs> in the bathroom so now i have wet hair and no power in the bathroom so i had to go flip the breaker in the bathroom my jaw like this is not supposed to be like this whole like task like so now i'm at the point i'm starting to get mad like what the heck i tried a new conditioner my hair started falling out now the power's out in the bathroom from the blow dryer. It's like everything that could go wrong was going wrong with my hair at this moment. 
So yeah, I get the lights in the bathroom back on. I go to plug my blow dryer back in and the blow dryer still doesn't work and doesn't work in any outlets now. So I think that the blow dryer is just done. I don't know what happened with the blow dryer. Like <laughs> it was a brand new blow dryer too. So sorry, if y'all want to run me my money back, like, yeah. But so at this point, I'm like, I'm crying. I'm like upset. So I just laid down and I went to sleep, y'all. Like I went to sleep and I just, I hope that my hair was like, I hope that it was a dream and that my hair was fine and yeah. So I wake up the next morning, my hair is actually still wet. <laughs> so I'm just already waking up on a bad note because I'm like, bruh. So and that's when I made my hair appointment to just chop my hair off because I could tell that it was no saving that hair. I went to Salon Mean and the hairstylist that I went to is Abigail who has done my hair in the past. So I knew that I could trust her with my hair. She specializes in natural hair so yeah this is a picture of my hair before i cut it off so i cut off like a little bit more than half of my hair y'all but you can see like how stressed it looks it's like all thinning at the bottom because y'all was literally ripping my hair apart because i could not detangle it at all it was so dry and matted there was no brushing through it i had to rip it apart so my hair it has experienced a lot of breakage and all just related to this product. My I like it's just crazy. So I ended up cutting my hair off and I actually I freaking love it y'all. Like it's so cute. Here I'll insert the clip of like the whole process of me um getting my hair done. She did an amazing job. It was such a beautiful process and I really wasn't scared to cut my hair off y'all I've always kind of been like experimented with my hair and I grew up with my mom telling me that you know it's just hair it'll grow back so I'm not too stressed about it it's just the fact that this wasn't what I wanted to do with my hair but it turned out cute so I'm not really too 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 mad at it but that's just a warning to you guys to I guess do more research on the products that you're using because you could turn up like me and have to cut your hair off. But yeah, that's all for this video. Thank you guys for listening to me talk about my hair. Um, I definitely do not recommend this brand. It caused my hair to fall out. So, you know, use it at your own risk. Research properly. Maybe not trust the reviews from the store you're getting it from because it might just be a lie maybe look up this the brand name and like bad reviews you can get like the real reviews that's something i should have done and that's something i will do in the future so yeah i'm just i'm excited that i get to try something new with my hair and i love it i'll probably keep it short for a little while it's super cute i can't wait to do like little hairstyles and stuff with it like i love it and it looks so healthy and thick I love a good blunt cut baby but yeah that's all for this video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one